So water doesn't flow, you know, l'eau ne coule pas. Something's running, ça coule. Um, so water was running from the pipe, from the hose. L'eau coulait du tuyau. Okay, so couler, very useful verb. Again, on with the... Uh, a corridor, couloir. Yeah, a couloir that runs against, um, you know, that runs down the house. Um, lovely, um, lovely. Somebody gave me E, letter E, and I came up with étudier, but the reason I wanted to talk about it was people often say étudier when they mean um, when they mean faire des études so if you said oh I studied modern languages people go to say, oh j'ai étudié but it's just more common to say j'ai fait des études de I did studies in okay étudier is like do you want to come over my house tonight and study it's the action of learning it tends to be more common so um what did you study at college? What did you study at university? Yeah, qu'est-ce que vous avez étudié? But qu'est-ce que vous avez fait les vous avez fait les études de quoi? Vous avez fait les études de quoi? So that's just a little something that I would say that's quite useful to go with. All right. Next letter that we were given was uh, um, yeah, avoir horreur de. Somebody gave me an H and I said avoir horreur de. So that is a, you've done j'ai besoin de, I need, you've done j'ai envie de, yeah? J'ai horreur de, okay, is to be, uh, I, I, like I hate it. So I hate, uh, I hate kids that scream, j'ai horreur des enfants qui chialent. I hate this kind of situation, j'ai horreur de ce genre de situation. Yeah, so it's just another avoir plus a word plus a de, okay? Um, lovely. Um, so, um, freeze-dried freeze, freeze dried food is something I hate, yeah? Um, no, let's come with a better one. Um, I hate to think about the number of workers who are going to be suffering. J'ai horreur de penser au nombre de travailleurs qui souffriront, okay? Lovely. So that is a nice one to have. Uh, J'ai horreur de, okay? And again, anything with a de, remember that if you reversed it, you'd be using dans. So, for example, j'ai envie de venir, I want to come. J'ai envie de... Um, a noun, though. So, j'ai besoin d'un gâteau. The cake I need. Le gâteau dont j'ai besoin. So, if you've not yet watched the video on dont, type in trident, T-R-I-D-N-T, -T, into the list of videos, and you will come up with dont, de, and en, and how they relate with verbs that use de. Or logical language learning at gmail.com. Ask me the question. Off you go. Next verb is jurer. Jurer. Now, can we make sure that we're pronouncing this properly with the U at the top of our mouth? Jurer. And that is to swear. But both as in swear, as in I swear to you, Luke, I did my homework. Or swear as in curse, as in shit, fuck, bollocks. Yeah. Uh, so, jurer. So, um... Some of these examples, you would not be the first warmonger to swear that, okay? Um, uh... No, some of these examples are a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, so I swear to you, je vous jure, je te jure, okay? Um, stop swearing, stop cursing, arrête de jurer, okay? So that one goes on the list, definitely, definitely, definitely. Lovely. Next up we have, ensuite nous avons, oh, we're on to our final page. Lovely. What did we have there? I can't quite read it. Oh, somebody gave me a K and for some reason the word kermesse came up, which is a, um, a noun, obviously, uh, which is uh, like a fair, like um, a fete, a village fair, kermesse. Put it on there anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know why it was just the word that came to brain, my brain. You will see it. Yeah, you will see it. It's not archaic. You know, I've been to several. Um, I've helped at several. Uh, next up, we had the word. If I'm not mistaken, we started looking at a load of R's. All oh, right, so we used arranger and s'arranger, and résoudre, and lovely. So, let's do arranger first. So, s'arranger, 
to arrange itself, reflexive, is to turn out all right. So, was, are you okay? Did you manage to find a solution? Oui, ça s'est arrangé. Ça s'est arrangé. So, to be able to manipulate this verb beautifully, you need to be able to use the reflexive, don't you, in the poetry past, which is my method of using reflexive verbs with the past. If poetry past means nothing to you, can you please email me at Logic Language Learning and say, hey Luke, educate me about the poetry past. That is, je me suis tuté, il sait, nous nous sommes, vous vous êtes, ils se sont. In other words, when we are using the reflexive and the verb to be in the past. Okay, I call it poetry past because it's like ba ba bum ba ba bum ba ba bum. And I will send you the appropriate videos or a file on it. So, s'arranger. So, let's look at our examples. So, uh, so I arranged, you know, so if someone arranges something else, so j'ai arrangé, um, the, the, I, I arranged the papers on my desk, j'ai arrangé les papiers sur mon bureau, we managed to resolve, we managed to arrange, you know, rather than organise, arranger in French can also be to kind of solve, we'll do solve the actual verb in a minute, so we managed to resolve the issues between us, nous sommes parvenus à, we arrived at, on est arrivé à, Arranger les choses entre nous. En, entre nous, pardon. Um, but, s'arranger, yeah, uh, when you've got um, the reflexive, let's see if that can come up somewhere. C'est arrangé. Uh, yeah, everything turned out okay. Tout s'est arrangé. Yeah. Uh, uh, perfect. Yeah, ça c'est... Ne, ne vous inquiétez pas, monsieur. Uh, ça va s'arranger. That's gonna... That, that'll be okay. Ça va s'arranger. Okay. In addition, then, we had the verb résoudre. Okay? Résoudre. The past of which you know, résolu, which gives us resolution. Yeah? But this, this is the verb in French, to solve. Résoudre. Okay? Bit of an interesting pronunciation. Um... So that's again, if someone's resolving something else or solving something else, no problem, yeah? The mathematician has solved a difficult question, yeah? Yeah, le, mathemis, le mathématicien a résolu, yeah, une question difficile, um, une occasion difficile, that's no problem. The police are looking for clues to solve the inquiry, the investigation. La police cherche des indices pour résoudre l'enquête, fine, okay? I adopted a holistic approach to solve the problem. J'ai adopté une approche holistique pour résoudre le problème. Um, fine. But basically, now what I'm interested in, at your guys' level, is se résoudre. Okay? Uh, so, um, where are we? Um, ça c'est résolu. Yeah, so almost identical in this case to ça s'est arrangé. So the problem solved itself. The problem was solved. The problem got solved. Le problème s'est arrangé. Le problème s'est résolu. Okay, so do type these into lingui and have a look-see, but that's the verb I would like. So se résoudre. Next up, we're nearly done. We had... Um, uh, right. I've done a video on this, endormir and rendormir and s'endormir and all this business. So, to sleep, dormir. To fall asleep, you are adding en before it and you are then adding a reflexive before that. So, I'm falling asleep. Je m'endors. I, I went back to sleep. Je me suis rendormi. Je me suis rendormi. So, we've done the others before. Yeah, we've done the, the others before in a video. I will try and remember to pop that underneath. If I don't, can somebody message me underneath and say, Luke, could you give me the link for the sleep video? All the different ways of saying sleep. I slept with him, I went to sleep, I'm feeling sleepy. The word for sleep itself, le sommeil, je couche, je vais coucher avec quelqu'un, je me couche. All the different ways of saying sleep. There's quite a lot of words. Um, but uh, if I don't attack, attach that video, could you somebody comment underneath? Or just email me. Um, lovely. So that was an important one. So rendormir. So I I managed to fall back asleep. Fall back to sleep. So I, I woke up because I was thirsty, but I managed to get back to sleep. Je me suis réveillé parce que j'avais soif, mais j'ai réussi à me rendormir. Um, so the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, terre, which is reflexive. Se so terre. So you know. Uh, terre on its own is kind of 
conceal a little bit. But se taire is to shut up, to be quiet. Hush. So you know the verb plaire. You know it because of please. S'il te plaît, s'il vous plaît. Play, play, play. So we've got play, play, play. Plus on plus et plaise. We know the verb faire. Fait, fait, fait. Euh, nous faisons, vous faites, ils font, irregular. So, terre, ok, te, 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 you've got the same conjugations going on. So, be quiet, tais-toi, yeah, taisez-vous, yeah, taisez-vous. Um, so, um, subjunctive, you need to be quiet, il faut que tu te taises. So, se taire is the reflexive verb to shut up. Notice a reflexive verb. You can command someone to do a reflexive verb. You get up, tu te lèves. Get up, lève-toi. You just need to remember to stick the reflexive bit on the end. That is called an imperative. That is a command. If you need to know how to um, do a command, message me. Message me is a command. Okay. Um, it doesn't need to be brutal. You know, it could be call me. That's an imperative. Okay. Um, so, if you need to know what, how to handle those, go to my channel, go to the search on the videos, which unfortunately is only available on, on, at the moment on um, a PC. If you did it with a smartphone or an iPad or something like this, tablet, it doesn't seem to offer it on YouTube. But if you, if you wanted to know, then please just send me a link. Say, Luke, can I have the video on how to command, how to ask for things? Then I will send you that. Um, yeah. So, in other words, se taire. Um, uh, where are we? Um, the number of acts of violence is rising and victims are increasingly often deciding to remain silent. So it's kind of not say something as well as to shut up. Le, nom, le nombre d'actes de violence augmente et les victimes choisissent de plus en plus souvent de... Well, oui, uh, choisissent de plus en plus souvent de se taire parce qu'elles n'attendent rien de l'état. Okay? Um, lovely. Uh, if I put... Um, they are forced to keep quiet because often they do not. Uh, elles doivent se taire. Elles doivent se taire. But most commonly, you will hear in a classroom situation, tais-toi, be quiet, taisez-vous. Okay? It's not quite as rude as shut up. Yeah, it's more be quiet. Okay? Yeah, slang of which would be ferme ta gueule. Yeah, shut your mouth. So we'll pop that one up there. Lovely. Next up, fuyer, great verb. To search, to rummage, to go through, to scour, to probe. So the police, this kind of action. Uh, I'll do that one more time. This kind of action. The police searched the whole building. La police a fuyé uh, tous les bâtiments. Um, I remember reading, when I was much, much younger, a book by Alphonse Daudet called uh, Le Petit Chose, The Little Thing, um, and uh, about, it's like a coming of age. It's a bit like Dickens in Great Expectation. Um, and I remember somebody frier parmi les étoffes, like searching amongst the ranks for something. So uh, he rummaged in the drawer to find his old letters. Il a frié dans le tiroir. Okay. I went through my bag. J'ai frié mon sac. Yeah, you just go straight from frier into the thing. So, a great verb, okay? So, look in your bag and find it. Regarde dans ton sac, ou fuis ton sac, yeah? Fuyez, okay? Now, the next verbs that we had were, you're going to start seeing um, a lot of R's going on. We had um, the difference between ajouter and rajouter. So, this is a source of debate, but ajouter and rajouter, so, some people confuse them in French and use them quite a lot. There's a lot of crossover. Some people say ajouter is when you add something for the first time, and some people say rajouter is when you add something that you've already added. So I'm going to add more sugar. Je vais rajouter encore de sucre. Can I stress that a lot of the time in French these verbs with R are not just a re thing. So for example, hey, I'm going to meet Susie and Paul. In, you know, hey, I'm going to come and meet you. Je vais vous rejoindre. I'm not rejoining you. It doesn't suggest I was with you earlier. Um, you know, but uh, we sort of have that in English, don't we? Reassure somebody. You're not assuring them a second time, but it's it sort of come from the French. 
Ba'ajotei ou rajotei 